This is Ryan from CarSmart. We met around the virtual water cooler and crowned the six best car interiors for 2021. If you had to choose the best car interiors, what would be on your list? Debates regarding exterior and interior car design are very often heated, emotional and lively, depending on who you are, where your brand allegiances lie, and what brand or car model is in the spotlight. Car design is a subjective topic, but like you, we are car lovers too and we also like a good debate. For this article, we turned our attention to the topic of the latest and most striking car interiors. The interiors listed below were selected by the Car Smart team and in our opinion are deemed to be the best or most striking production interiors, driver cabins, that we have either seen on the internet or experienced in real life this year. We expect that you might disagree with some or all of our suggestions, and that's okay, but we invite you to our virtual water cooler to engage with us and offer up your own suggestions for what car interiors you think should be ranked as the best in the business. The best car interiors listed here are not listed in any specific order. Mercedes-Benz revealed its new MUX hyperscreen earlier this year and it's due to make its debut in the forthcoming all-electric S-Class known as the EQS, which is also due to arrive in 2022. The driver's cabin of the EQS makes this list because of the sheer size and technological progression that is demonstrated by the MUX hyperscreen. Bigger is not always better but in this case, it might just be. It just looks incredible. The 56-inch, dashboard-spanning hyperscreen is huge, to say the least and it comprises a digital instrument cluster, central media screen, climate control panel, as well as a media display for the front passenger, all in a continuous glass panel. Representing the very best the brand has to offer, the EQS will be equipped with a wide range of luxury and comfort features such as a high-end 710-watt Burmester sound system, extensive comfort and massage programs, and a HEPA air filter to keep the cabin air fresh and clean. Customers will also be able to choose between either comfort or sports seats, and as you can expect, attention to detail should be top-notch. If the cabin of the EQS doesn't impress you, then we aren't sure what will. In direct contrast to the high-tech, ultra-luxurious cabin shown in the above EQS, we present to you the cabin of the Ineos Grenadier. The Grenadier's cabin is laden with buttons, knobs, and switches and the overall design proves that buttons can be cool and in this case, better than screens. The Grenadier's cabin is functional and designed for purpose. For example, it features pre-wired auxiliary switches which will make it much easier to connect equipment such as camping gear, external lights, or winches, for example. The hard-wearing interior is built to withstand the rigors of the wild, and it can be hosed down if necessary. There are drainage plugs in the floor, and the stain-resistant Recaro seats are super durable too, perfect for bashing through the bundes. It isn't lacking modern conveniences either and for those who want to connect a smartphone, the Grenadier does feature a 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A full reveal is expected in the coming weeks and we are ever hopeful to see and drive the Grenadier in 2022. When Opel recently revealed its new Astra, we were mightily impressed by its slick interior design and it even got us questioning if it might be better than the new VW Golf 8, but alas, that's a debate for another day. Unlike the aforementioned Grenadier, the Astra has migrated the majority of the vehicle feature functions to what the Russellsheim-based firm calls a fully digital pure panel. The upright and curved panel houses two wide 10-inch displays and together with a tastefully styled yet minimalist center console, we think Opel deserves some applause. Granted, the electric Porsche Taycan wasn't revealed in 2021 but rather in 2019, which makes it quite old in the automotive universe. It took its time to reach South Africa but we had our first thorough test of the Taycan in 2021 and its clean and sophisticated interior design left its mark on us. It's a display of displays in the Taycan and the front cabin can be equipped with up to four screens, all serving different functions, not only for the driver but the passenger too. The curved and frameless 16.8-inch digital instrument cluster is not only slick-looking but it's also highly customizable with four themes on offer including classic, map, full map, and pure. Note the touch points on the sides of the instrument cluster which provide quick touch access to features such as lighting, suspension and traction control settings. The 10.9-inch touchscreen infotainment screen takes care of all your infotainment needs while the tablet-style 8.4-inch screen lower in the fascia operates the Taycan's climate control functions and seat settings. As an option, Taycan owners can even spec a fourth 10.9-inch screen placed directly in front of the passenger as well as a fifth 5.9-inch screen for rear passengers. Overall, sitting in the Taycan's driver's seat and experiencing the technology was memorable and we think it deserves its place on this list. Let's come back down to earth for a second and tip our hats to the interior of the Peugeot 2008. 
The new 2008 compact family was launched earlier this year and it's undoubtedly equipped with perhaps the most stylish and modern looking interiors in this segment. The wraparound dashboard is driver focused and incorporates Peugeot's third generation i cockpit, which features a segment first 3D instrument cluster and a 10 inch touchscreen infotainment system. Peugeot's compact steering wheel is also unique in this segment and we like the aviation style switchboard which provides easy access to key functions. The top spec 2008 GT is also generously specky with features too such as a wireless charging pad, four USB ports and USB-C ports, and a 10-speaker focal premium sound system with a 12-channel, 515 watts amplifier. Supercars and hypercars feature the most dramatic and performance-focused interiors and this list wouldn't be complete without at least one feature, but what shall it be? We settled on the Artura, McLaren's new hybrid supercar which was revealed earlier this year. We like the fact that it's not an over-the-top interior but rather understated and focused purely on the driver. The new club sport seat design deserves a mention and it combines the range of motion expected of a movable backrest with the lightweight and support of a bucket seat. The whole seat pivots as one through an elliptical arc when being adjusted, setting under thigh support, seat height, and backrest adjustment all in a single movement. Two high-definition screens deliver notable responsiveness, similar to what you will experience on a smartphone. Users can also access McLaren's apps including McLaren Track Telemetry and Variable Drift Control. The instrument binnacle features a redesigned navigation map and only features key information to minimize distraction. Stealth mode further hides non-essential information to promote full driver concentration. 